Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingImperfection.com. I'm here with you today with a birthday card and I'm going to use some die cuts and I'm going to use this layered cupcake stamp set from Altenew. I think it's super fun and if you wanted to you could stamp just the outline part and color it in with watercolors, Copics, colored pencils, Altenew artist markers, whatever your favorite coloring medium is and um, I am just going to to layer it because I feel like that seems quick and easy. So I have the coordinating die. It just has one little die. So I sometimes have trouble um, because this die is just one piece and the cupcake is two. That means I have to get those together just right. And um, so I decided I would die cut this first. Other it. it I, w I need to make sure these are going to fit together. So this is like this. So I'm going to use this as a template to fit this on my paper when I actually cut it out. So I've done some pre-cutting. So I've made my little template there and um, I probably could just go ahead and use this but it's very it's not easy to actually line that up. So I'm going to save this it never hurts to have a couple extra die cuts. I've got a couple pieces of scrap paper which I will use for my cupcake and my sentiment. I, d I have my card base. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter and I you know scored and folded it at four and a quarter so five and a half by eight and a half. Then I have this rectangle piece and I used these my favorite things, um, these are stitched rectangle dies and I used the second size so I'm using this and um, then my third thing is this really pretty little heart wreath and I just got this. This is from Avery L. What do they call it? They call it a heart frame die and it has some heart pieces also which I, I didn't bother cutting those apart because this was what I really wanted to use for this and I also pulled out my um, my favorite thing stamps my sentiment strip stamps and this is a freebie I got because um, for this looks like a $60 purchase with the $60 purchase at my favorite things you get a freebie and um, this was one of the freebies and I love this. That's a very handy thing to have. So those are the things that I've already pre-cut. And the reason that I cut those things is because I am using I am using this week's um, Atlantic Hearts Sketch Challenge. This is Sketch 376. Sorry about that. This is Sketch 376. So I needed a round piece and a rectangular piece and I haven't decided what I'm going to use across. I think I'll maybe I'll use my black and white twine because I have that in front of me and I love black and white twine. So I think I will probably use my black and white twine for a ribbon there. And then I'm going to use the cupcake. So I, I'm using this open circle and I'll put the cupcake on top of it because it's for my sister so the hearts seem pretty perfect and I think she'll like it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. So let's start with the stamping that I have to do. So I pulled out my Misty. To do my stamping I'm just going to use a piece of scrap paper inside my Misty and you'll notice that I have one of those Sizzix sticky grids under my paper. I quite like these sticky grids. I bought the small size. They come in a package of five. I put one in my original Misty, this one, and one in my mini Misty. You use them until they're not sticky anymore then you peel it off and toss it out and I think they hold my my paper's much better than the magnets do. So I'm using the, that die cut template that I had and I have the um, instructions for how to layer that stamp set together from Altenew. I always save that piece. And I've pulled out two different sets of inks. I'm going to use some of my milk chocolate set and some of my uh, Galactic Stream set. I'm just going to use a couple of each. So I'm starting with the bottom of the cupcake and I'm pulling out the solid piece. This is the background piece and I always want this to be the lightest color. So I'm going to make the bottom blue. It's my sister's favorite color and this is for my sister. 
So I am using the Dew Drops and it actually inked up pretty well because I have just recently inked, re-inked all my Alta New inks and I decided to stamp it twice anyway because this is the first time I've used this set. A lot of times I'll either use a an eraser, just rub an eraser across the top of a, those solid pieces, or I'll rub them on my jeans a couple times, or I'll even ink them with Versamark and then go ahead and ink them. Um, but this worked out okay, um, considering how freshly inked my pads were. So I've got the second layer, and this time I've used the Aqualicious in that set. It's just one color or one shade darker than the Dew Drops. And um, they've got a little piece in this set that is actually the cupcake piece. It's the part of the cupcake that you see. So I'm going to stamp that next. And that is being stamped in milk chocolate. And it, I think this is such a clever stamp. And it's so easy with the layering stamp set. And I like that I made the template. Like sometimes I get so frustrated trying to layer stamps together, but having the template for something like this, especially when the die is only one piece, very useful. So I've stamped the base layer of this in the lightest color that I pulled out for the chocolates. That's the vanilla cream. And then I'm going to use the almond butter color for the second layer. So I'm lining that up. And I'm basically lining it inside my template. I'm not worrying about lining it up with the cupcake itself. So this is making it much easier for me to layer. I'm going to stamp this twice because again, this is a new stamp. Next time I stamp this, I won't have to stamp it twice, especially because I've re-inked all of these ink pads. I love these ink pads. The colors are gorgeous and I love that they come in pre-layered sets. So for the top layer, I'm using that milk chocolate again. That's the darkest color that I pulled out. And um, my sister is definitely a chocolate frosting person and a chocolate cupcake person. So the dilemma came when I went to do the outline stamp because I had originally planned to do the bottom of the cupcake in the Galactic Stream and the top of the cupcake in the, the milk chocolate. But I went ahead and since it's just one piece, used the permanent black ink and I really like the way that came out. Isn't that pretty? It looks delicious. Now I'm hungry for cupcakes. So sadly, now I'm hungry for cupcakes. I just use baby wipes to wipe that permanent black ink off. It does stain my stamp set a little bit, but that's okay. I'm okay with that um, because it just shows that it's been used. Like I know which stamp sets I, I've used if they're they have been stained black or red. Those are the ones I've used. Um, so I picked the Happy Birthday Sentiment. There's some cute sentiments in there. And I stamped that in the, the permanent black ink also. Then I die cut them out. I used the cupcake die cut that came with the bundled with the stamp set. And I used one of those MFT sentiment strips. So I really like the way that came out. So I always keep those inserts that come with my stamp sets and notice that I put my die cut template right back into that package and my stamps will store on top of that. So I have all of that together and the extra little die cut cupcake piece is going to be in there too. And I also store the my dies in there on the back side of that envelope, that clear plastic envelope. I will put a little magnet piece and then include my die in there. So I never have to search for the die set that goes with my stamp set. So now I'm going to put my card together and I've already got the the other pieces all pre-cut. So I'm pulling out my pieces. I have that card base which is cut at and I'm pulling up my here's the here's the um, sketch again so that you can see that sketch. So I've got that little rectangle and the rectangle is not directly in the center so I'm going to put that a little off center. And I love that stitch detail around the rectangle. I liked the rounded corners a lot too. I This is one of my favorite shape sets that I have and um, again this is from mftstamps.com. They have a lot of beautiful like shape dies and stitch dies and stacked layers of different shapes. Like they just really have a nice variety of 
dies. So I am using a lot of that 3M foam on there and I did that because I'm mailing this so I want to give it a lot of support. And um, I'm also going to put a little bit of foam tape on the back of that wreath but first I want to just make a little bow with my um, black and white baker's twine and I it always takes me forever to make bows because I'm super fussy about them. so once I got the bow exactly where I wanted I trimmed off the twine and then I put a little tiny bit of foam behind th the three largest hearts so that it would pop up a little above the baker's twine. Now I didn't love the way the baker's twine was looking here. So, um, you know, I'm, I want to cover that up a little bit. So I'm trying out the cupcake and I can see that it's still going to show a lot of the baker's twine and I don't love the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is take that sentiment strip and make sure that goes across that point. So I will actually layer that over the cupcake. So I'm going to add three foam dots to the cupcake and I'm trying to place them where they won't be um, like catching the baker's twine or the wreath because that already has a lot of dimension so I'll just pop this up there and I love this cupcake I think that this is a very pretty layered stamp set I'm really happy that I got this one they also have a beautiful like gift bow that's like just absolutely stunning no matter what colors you use so now I'm going to actually pull out some liquid glue and this card has a lot of dimension because all of those pieces have dimension and I'm gonna put some liquid glue on the back of the happy birthday and put it right over where the Baker's twine is and I'm gonna be much happier with the effect that I end up with so please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and give this video a like that would really help me out and I appreciate it also make sure you click that bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video and you can check out my blog on at stampingimperfection.com you can follow me on Facebook and on Pinterest I have a lot of stuff on Pinterest and that's going to complete this card. So thank you so much for watching. And let me just show you the, this is the Atlantic Hearts Sketch Challenge. And that's the sketch that I started out with. So I think that there's lots of ways you can use it. I just wanted the color to be all that focal point, that cupcake. And I'll probably put some sequins or pearls or something on before I send it. But you can check that out at my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm delighted you spent part of your day with me.